Where does the food we eat come from? Many of the fruits and vegetables, and even the palm oil used in many ultra-processed foods, are produced in large expanses of monocultures. The use of this agricultural technique has expanded because it's thought to be very efficient, but we now know that it can gravely affect biodiversity and soil richness. From afar, monocultures look like smooth, uniform blankets of vegetation, but that would be missing the forest for the crops. Monoculture, or the practice of planting a single crop species across a large area, is an industrial agricultural practice in use since the 1950s. It's a fast technique, just plow, sow, fertilize, fumigate, harvest, and then repeat until the land wears out and becomes infertile. Soybeans, oil palms, sugarcane, and corn are some of the crops that are most commonly produced using this method. So what's the problem? First, deforestation. Entire ecosystems with rich plant and animal life are often destroyed to clear land that will be used to grow just one type of plant. This depletes the nutrients in the soil, which then calls for the use of large amounts of chemical fertilizers in order to maintain productivity. It's also easier for pests to proliferate without resistance or natural predators, which would be present in an area with diverse plants. This then leads to the use of even more agrochemicals, this time in form of pesticides, which end up polluting rivers, killing off natural pollinators, and affecting local communities. In Latin America, many of the companies that practice monoculture have been embroiled in exactly these problems. Mongabe Latam found 231 penalties, complaints, and investigations over poor environmental practices associated with at least 147 companies and people linked to palm oil production in Colombia, Ecuador, Guatemala, and Honduras. In the northern Ecuadorian Amazon, the Siecopay indigenous community can no longer use water from the Shushufindi River because it's contaminated with pesticides and waste left by the more than 20,000 hectares, or nearly 50,000 acres, of oil palm crops. Are there alternatives? Yes. Sustainable agriculture, or agroecology, employs methods that keep the land productive for longer, regenerating the soil instead of degrading it. This method is based on mixing crops, some seasonal and others perennial, lasting for years and not requiring to be replanted after each harvest. For example, growing flowers between crops or native timber and fruit trees around them can provide a refuge for birds, insects and other wildlife, which in turn perform natural pest control. Agroecology is a system that indigenous communities have used for centuries in some regions. Other benefits of this system include efficient water use and the reuse of waste.